thanks, Lance. I mean, we're very excited to have gotten to this point with everything. And uh, I think your, your question kind of points to that. This has been an evolution and where this is another step along that path that, we, uh, that we're very glad to have, have gotten to. Um, I also want to highlight you know, the role of the USA Digital Strategy Team. Um, we could not be doing the work we're doing on our cybersecurity team without the support of, of their team. And we we actually spun out of what they're doing. And we see the what's happening with, with emerging technologies, which is really what the digital strategy team, our digital strategy is about, and cybersecurity as two parts of the same set of issues. Um, that really, how do these things affect what's happening in the development and humanitarian space? And the reason why cyber is, is so critical for, for and such a fast growing focus for USAID is that it really cuts across everything that we do from preventing conflict to climate change issues, to countering authoritarianism and inequality, to humanitarian response, to a whole range of different things, all the different parts of what aid does. So much of it has this strong digital component to it. And increasingly, we're using digital technologies in what we do in our communications in our data gathering our analysis and in the implementation of different programs and in our you know in, in this case humanitarian work in so many different places and but with that comes a whole set of new and fast evolving vulnerabilities and as you you talked about in, in your you know, so eloquently in your your speech the many of the populations we're working with from a humanitarian perspective are some of the most vulnerable in the world and we have to be very careful about that digital that responsibility of care to protect the information of those individuals so as not to create new risks for them and that means that um in order to achieve these goals we have as an agency across all these different lines of effort we have to include cybersecurity as a part of what we're doing and so that's really kind of what, where our team started and that's where we're continuing to build within the agency so it sounds like then that this is becoming less of a standalone and you're trying to really build it in more to the way you operate, the way you, the way you, you think about the work, uh, embedding it from the beginning. Is that, is that fair to say? Absolutely. I mean, I think that's what we have to do. You know, otherwise it becomes, you know, something that we talk about, but that we don't really do fully as an agency. The only way we do this effectively and that really makes it makes enables the digital the, the digital development components of what we're doing and the digital humanitarian responses of what we're doing is that we build it into our systems, our processes, our thinking, our training, our strategies, all of it, because there's less and less distinction between digital work and humanitarian work. They are all they're so much the same now because we, we're so dependent on so many different digital technologies to have these really positive effects. I mean, they, they really provide us a lot of opportunities. And those are things that we need to take advantage of. And this is where the world's going. This is the environments in which we work. They're changing very quickly. And they're becoming much more connected. We need to keep up with that. So we, we can't afford to look back. But as we look forward, we have to all rec we have to also recognize that there are these new threats and risks that come with that. And so therefore we need to build an acknowledgement and response to those, those threats and risks into everything we do and into all the different ways that we think about it.